to say as well. But let's go on the field now. Rex Ryan was victorious in his return to the Meadowlands on a national stage, just like Rex likes it. Much of the credit going to his defense. The Bills D shut down Ryan's former team for much of the game and scored on offense and special teams in a 22-17 victory over New York. Stephen A., did the Jets lose the game more than the Bills won it? I think the Jets lost it. Um, the Jets turned over the ball four times, two fumbles, two interceptions. Uh, you get the ball with 5-12 left in the game. You get down about five to about the five-yard line, and all of a sudden you got three plays to get in from the five. You can't do it. And then on that last play, you throw a pass to Kellen Davis in the end zone, who basically said he got caught in the lights and didn't see. Seemed like he ran the wrong route uh, or something. They both made ran no, the wrong route. Like they're trying to run a pick, whatever. and then they both. How are you not targeting Brandon Marshall yep. or Eric Decker? Mm -hmm. I don't get that. Decker was that was pick. that was yeah. problematic. The fourth and one play to Brandon Marshall that went nowhere because he the tack that the, the defender was on him tackling him the second he touched the ball. He didn't even get a chance to catch the ball before he got hit. You call a fourth and one play so you go for it on fourth and one twice you fail on both occasions you could have kicked the field goal both issue both in you know, both in both instances yep. you passed on both uh, both of them and you put yourself in a position where ryan fitzpatrick ended up having to throw that interception near the tail end of the game in the end LaShawn mccoy averaging nearly six yards a carry ran for 112 yards in the end Tyrod Taylor, not a single interception 17 and 27 for 158 yards in the end Watkins didn't have much of a day, only three reception for 14 yards, but converted a crucial fourth down, a third and two play. Huge. You know, it was a huge play, and they're throwing at Darrell Revis, which says to me that even though Darrell Revis is still pretty damn good, there's some vulnerability that people are seeing with him, albeit slightly. All those things taken into consideration. I think that you look at the Jets right now, they're still a good team. The problem is that's all they are. Good. It's appropriate where they are right now in a wild card race in the AFC. You got them, you got the Buffalo Bills, you got the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, all of them are battling for that wild card spot along with the Oakland Raiders on the outside looking in at the previous or the aforementioned three. And I look at the I, I look at Buffalo with Taylor, with Watkins, with LaShawn McCoy and Carlos Williams, who had a decent they with this touchdown catch it is no doubt that the buffalo bills are the more impressive offense mm -hmm. that the that rex ryan has ever coached better than any offense he had in the new in new york with the jets for the six years yep. this defense i still believe to some degree is suspect but i think the jets offense is suspect i think their play calling was suspect i think their execution was definitely suspect and i don't think their defense made stops when they needed to they were not awful they were pretty damn good but at the same time they didn't do what they needed to do to close this deal. Congrats to you because you picked Buffalo to win this game. That's your wild card pick. I obviously picked the Jets to win this game. It didn't get done. I think they were a bit vulnerable. And, and I think that I, 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 Todd Bowles' imprints are not on this franchise as of yet. Mm -hmm. That's what I appear for. Whatever his agenda is, he's getting there. But it is far from a finished product. The Jets deserve to lose this game because they gave it away. Mm. I will agree that the Jets lost this game more than my Bills won this game. But I got to tell you, my Bills have some playmakers on offense. The Jets defense is no joke. Darrell Revis is still Darrell Revis to me. Sammy Watkins is explosive. He lost Revis on that third and two play. I thought that was more about Sammy than it was about Revis in decline because I don't think Darrell Revis is in decline. Tyrod Taylor was up against a defense that is as difficult to play against as any in the National Football League. And the beauty of his game was what you pointed out, the zero, zero turnovers. Mm -hmm. Didn't lose a fumble against the Blitz, didn't throw an interception against the Blitz. I got to tell you, he has star quality to me. He has poise, he has accuracy. He did make the throws that had to be made to win the football game. And LaShawn McCoy looked as explosive as I've ever seen him look against a defense that is extremely difficult to run against. Now, to the coach, Rex Ryan, I have to say this. Rex said after the game repeatedly, come on, guys, it wasn't about me. It was about my team. Baloney! All about it was all about Rex Ryan. Rex says, why didn't I come out for the warm-ups? Because I knew you guys would make it all about me. No, you made it all about you before the game because you knew if you didn't come out, as you usually do for pre-game warm-ups, the world was going to say, where is Rex? Oh, you're trying to stay out of the way so the attention can be on you. No, the attention is on you hiding in the locker room. 
Sure. Yeah. That's what he is now. But you know what? I was happy for him. I, I got to tell you, because I, I told you yesterday, he's, he was on the verge of becoming a fraud, and at least he's still afloat at five and four. And to your point about your Jets, it still comes down to the quarterback. And I told you yesterday, I was hoping, maybe against hope, that Ryan Fitzpatrick would turn back into Ryan Fitzpatrick. And right on schedule, on both those late plays he did. Remember the third down play? He did throw it to Eric Decker, who's double covered three yards deep in the backfield. Eric's going, don't throw it to me. And it's a three yard loss, which puts you in the fourth and goal from farther out. And then you know what happened. Yeah. It's, it's like he's Ryan Fitzpatrick. So once again, you don't have a quarter. In the end, I don't think you have a quarterback. Well, let me say this. Here's how you know you don't have a quarterback. Because Ryan Fitzpatrick is average at best, even though he can throw the football and he can run with it. He's talented, but the results are average. I mean, they are. I remember he came into the season 22 games under 500 yeah, I agree. as a starting quarterback. He is what he is. But you know it's bad when the Jets would rather put in a guy with one hand at your quarterback rather than put in. Okay, Jesus. that's. I mean, my I, goodness. I, I mean, I the guy, the guy, the, Ryan Fitzpatrick was having thumb surgery on his thumb this morning. Okay. I know. But they still yeah. threw him out there last right. night rather than throw in Geno Smith. I mean, talk about an indictment. You're Geno Smith. You really need to be looking in the mirror and taking a hard look right. at your NFL future. Okay. You might be wanting to think about the CFL because Mike. if they put in a one-hand quarterback to play before you, it does not say a lot about you CFL. at all. It's just the truth. Yep. I don't know. I don't. I, listen, I want to give Geno a chance, but what does it say about Geno Smith? If they are willing to put in a quarterback with only one hand working, all right, ahead of him. Yep. And it happens to be Ron Fitzpatrick. This ain't one hand Tom Brady, mm -hmm. one hand Drew Brees, one hand Big Ben Roethlisberger, yep. one hand Peyton Manning. This is one handed yep. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Right. And they still chose him over Geno Smith. If I'm Geno Smith, I'm really, really contemplating. I got my you. Future. Last quick point. Yeah. I have to make this for this Please. kid's sake. He deserves this mention on this show sure. at this moment. Oh. Ronald Darby, that kid that oh, they drafted from Florida yes. State, the second-round kid, Impressive. the cornerback, he is becoming a star in the National Football League. I agree game. with you totally. Thank and you. I all, like him. We all agree the Bills do have a quarterback at this point. They do. Yes, they do. No, Tyrod Taylor is no joke. Yep. So the Bills and Jets are tied at 5-4, and four, second in the AFC East, three games behind the New England Patriots. Tonight at 6 Eastern, don't miss a very special sports center Goodness. with one Stephen A. Not again. Smith. Must-see TV. Oh my God. You know my I'll last be watching. That's your my last one. Right my last one. No, you're it's you're going back down by popular on ESPN and on Watch ESPN. It was last week. It's this week. That's it. That's I, it. I don't believe you. I, I swear to you. That's what they told me. I don't believe That's you. That's what yeah, they told right. me. Yeah, right. I don't believe it either, Skip. Mm. And on Sunday, New England travels down 95 to New Jersey to face the Giants. This is the only team that's had Brady's number. Any shot the G-Men can pull it off against the perfect pass this year. We'll tell you that next. Here's how you know you don't have a quarterback. Because Ryan Fitzpatrick is average at best, even though he can throw the football and he can run with it. He's talented, but the results are average. I mean, they are. I remember he came into the season 22 games under 500 yeah, I agree. as a starting quarterback. He is what he is. But you know it's bad when the Jets would rather put in a guy with one hand at your quarterback rather than put in Okay, Jesus. that's... I mean, my I, I goodness. Agree. I mean, I the agree. guy, the guy, the, Ryan Fitzpatrick was having thumb surgery on his thumb this morning. Okay, I know. but they still yeah. threw him out there last right. night rather than throw in Geno Smith. I mean, talk about an indictment. You're Geno Smith. You really need to be looking in the mirror and taking a hard look right. at your NFL future. Okay. You might be wanting to think about the CFL because Mike. if they put in a one-hand quarterback to play before you, it does not say a lot With about you CFL. at all. It's just the truth. Yep. I don't know. I don't. I, listen, I want to give Geno a chance, but what does it say about Geno Smith? If they are willing to put in a quarterback with only one hand working, all right, ahead of him. Yep. And it happens to be Ron Fitzpatrick. This ain't one hand Tom Brady, mm -hmm. one hand Drew Brees, one hand Big Ben Roethlisberger, yep. one hand Peyton Manning. This is one handed yep. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Right. And they still chose him over Geno Smith. If I'm Geno Smith, I'm really, really contemplating. I got my you. Future. Last quick point. Yeah. I have to make this for this Please. kid's sake. He deserves this mention on this show sure. at this moment. Oh. Ronald Darby, that kid that oh, they drafted from Florida yes. State. The Shut down Ryan's former team for much of the game and scored on offense and special teams in a 22-17 victory over New York. Stephen A., did the Jets lose the game more than the Bills won it? I think the Jets lost it. Um, the Jets turned over the ball four times. Two fumbles, two interceptions. 
uh, you get the ball with 5-12 left in the game, you get down about five to about the five-yard line, and all of a sudden you got three plays to get in from the five. You can't do it. And then on that last play, you throw a pass to Kellen Davis in the end zone, who basically said he got caught in the lights and didn't see. Seemed like he ran the wrong route uh, or something. They both made ran no, the wrong route. Like they're trying to run a pick, forever. and then they both. How are you not targeting Brandon Marshall yep. or Eric Decker? Yep. I don't get that. Decker was that was pick. that was yep. problematic. The fourth and one play to Brandon Marshall that went nowhere because he the tack that the, the defender was on him tackling him the second he touched the floor. He didn't even get a chance to catch the ball before he got hit. You call a fourth and one play so you go for it on fourth and one twice you fail on both occasions you could have kicked the field goal both issue both in you know, both in both instances yep. you passed on both uh, both of them and you put yourself in a position where ryan fitzpatrick ended up having to throw that interception near the tail end of the game in the end LaShawn mccoy averaging nearly six yards a carry ran for 112 yards in the end Tyrod Taylor, not a single interception 17 to 27 for 158 yards in the end Walking York with the Jets for the six years. Yep. This defense, I still believe to some degree is suspect, but I think the Jets' offense is suspect. I think their play calling was suspect. I think their execution was definitely suspect, and I don't think their defense made stops when they needed to. They were not awful. They were pretty damn good, but at the same time, they didn't do what they needed to do to close this deal. Congrats to you because you picked Buffalo to win this game. That's your wild card pick. I obviously picked the Jets to win this game. It didn't get done. I think they were a bit vulnerable, and, and I think that I, 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 Todd Bowles' imprints are not on this franchise as of yet. Mm -hmm. That's what I appeal for. Whatever his agenda is, he's getting there, but it is far from a finished product. The Jets deserve to lose this game because they gave it away. Mm. I will agree that the Jets lost this game more than my Bills won this game. But I got to tell you, my Bills have some playmakers on offense. The Jets' defense is no joke. Darrell Revis is still Darrell Revis to me. Sammy Watkins is explosive. He lost Revis on that third and two play. I thought that was more about Sammy than it was about Revis in decline, because I don't think Darrell Revis is in decline. Tyrod Taylor was up against a defense that is as difficult to play against as any in the National Football League. And the beauty of his game was what you pointed out, the zero, zero turnovers. Didn't lose a fumble against the Blitz, didn't throw an interception against the Blitz.